All right, we're going to do our oil lab for 3.11, and this is our oil spill lab to figure out how difficult it truly is to clean up an oil spill. So the first thing we'll need is a container and our water. So I'm going to go ahead and pour our water to represent our ocean. Some of you may like to add salt to the water to make it more lifelike, like the ocean. If you like to do that, we'll go ahead and add some salt in. And be sure to stir it up. So that was about three teaspoons I put in for two cups of water. And I stir it up to make sure the, water, the uh, salt is absorbed, fully dissolved inside the water. And now we have our ocean representation. Uh, then we need to add our oil. You'll notice that I have a container for measuring the amount of water and oil that we get out of the oil spill. So I'm going to add our oil. That's two tablespoons worth of oil for two cups of water. We have several options here. You can use a sorbent, such as a sponge, to try and dab out the water. You can use a medicine dropper that will serve as a vacuum to suction out the oil from the water. A skimmer, you can either use just this or um, something like a coffee filter or something else to skim the water, hopefully get just the oil and let the water fall through. And then another option is hair inside a pair of pantyhose. Uh, this one has been proven to work. It sounds funny, but it is something that does work. Please, 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 please stay away from matches. Lighters, do not light it on fire. This is not meant to be lit on fire. So this is not an option. It's something they do do to uh, take oil out of the water. It's nothing I want you to do. So please do not even think about this one. Uh, I will use the vacuum for this. I'm going to try and just suction up the oil and not the water because the water is what we're trying to, to save. It's the environment we're trying to help. And if we suction out or get too much water out, we're help we're depleting the environment rather than actually helping it. And when you put it into this other container, you will see the water and oil separating, so you will know which is which if you got water or oil. And it is quite difficult to get only the oil and not the water. You can see here that I did get quite a bit of oil to water, so that's a pretty good vacuum section right there. And it does take quite a bit of time to do this. And this is on a really small scale. So imagine what it would really be like on a large scale in the ocean. And that time I got that's water and that much is oil. That's all water and that much is oil. Not very good. So now I'm looking at my container and I see that I've got quite a lot of water in there. Probably about 50-50 at this point, and I still have quite a bit of oil inside of my container. As you can see, the line here hasn't really gone down much. That was a pretty good draw of oil only. So this will take me many, many trials. I'm going to try another method. I'm going to try the sponge. Be careful with the sponge. You don't, because sponges do absorb water, you are wanting to get just the oil. So try to be careful with how much you let it soak in. And then squeeze it out. And this method also takes quite a bit of time to do. Another method is the skimming method. 
we're going to skim the surface and hopefully collect just the oil and the water will hopefully go back into the water. We're wanting to get just the oil out. I'm seeing a lot of oil on top. I collected quite a bit there. It makes me pretty happy. Put a lot of oil in that time. And it looks like it's pretty good in there. Do one more scoop. And again, quite a bit of oil. Now my oil ratio uh, is diminished quite a bit in my container, but there's still definitely oil in there and any oil is bad oil. We don't want any oil inside our ocean. It does terribly damage the ecology, the ecosystem, and uh, the environment. Uh, let's look at our collection over here of oil versus water. Uh, I've got about three ounces worth of liquid in here and one ounce is oil and two ounces is water. Not quite what I'm looking for. That's one third of what I collected was the oil. Two thirds of what I collected was water. Like I said, we are trying to save the environment, which is the water. And we are, have now taken out two thirds of what we took out was water. Uh, so that is why oil spills can be so hard to clean up.